right, what is going on? Long time no talk. I think we're gonna post this. I did just record a Nate talks. Um, but I don't know which one I'm gonna post first. See, my brain's already non-functional. Um, I'm currently having on the bottom right of my mouth, my wisdom tooth is growing in like diagonally, and the root of it is now like invading the territory. <laughs> That's such a dramatic way to put it. It is an invasion upon the nerves of my jawline. And so, uh, that's not fun. Anytime you have any sort of nerve problems, you're having a bad time. So, thankfully, at least that aspect of it, I need to get it pulled. But I am enjoying the lovely world of insurance and dealing with them trying to get them to actually, you know, take action. Because unfortunately, I need to get them to refer me to an oral surgeon. And they're taking their sweet time. I'm over here suffering. Please help me. <laughs> That's what I fucking pay you for. <laughs> Anywho, this Mika might have just lost the game with that super. We're going to see how good this Kagura, Kagia, not Kagura, how good this Kagia's offense is. That was a very nice combo. Get some Oki at the end there. Get even more Oki. Got caught by the kind of sort of empty low. That was a little deceptive, but I definitely think she could have activated that low faster. And she kind of made it reactable. Ooh, but hey, we made a mistake with that first super, but we are going to correct the mistake with the second. But so, there's still kind of like a dull ache. And it's... We'll see if it impacts me in any way while I'm recording this. Whoop! What a catch! But for like the past week or so, my jaw has been swollen. There was a brief period of time, thankfully brief, for like two or three days where it was so swollen I actually couldn't close my mouth fully. <laughs> that was fun. But so that's the reason why I've been absent for a little bit and why it might still be impacting me to a small degree. But we'll see. Damn! Mika going a little wild. Is what you gotta do if you wanna play Mika. She is definitely... I mean, this game in general, nice catch, she dead! This game in general definitely benefits being very aggressive but there are some like characters that are somewhat deficient tier list wise <laughs> like mika kind of require her you kind of just have to go ham you can't really you can't play the game not taking risks there are certain characters in the game that you certainly can play and succeed with by not taking many risks this character on your screen right now mr biakia is definitely one of them Evo Japan still it's almost a week I mean it's all still almost a month away it felt like it felt like a month ago that Evo Japan was like a month away and I was looking forward to it and it's still a month away <laughs> god damn it I want to see the undernight tournament I want to see what actually happens but I did see uh big black actually beat there was a smaller undernight tournament recently in I don't know it's called like impulse something there's like a club in I don't know where it is but I think they run pretty normal weeklies with the game. And they, I don't know if they flew Clear Lamp out specifically or if he just decided to come out for funsies. But he was there. And Big Black actually beat him in the Biaki Amir match. But Clear Lamp was one of the people that I want to see, among others, playing at, you know, like the highest level, seeing where this game currently is competitively outside of more local-ish tournaments, which is really all that we've seen so far. And I'm excited for it, and I want to see it, and I want to see what the characters are looking like. I need to see if I can maintain my current level of hatred toward Byakuya, or if somebody else deserves that ire even more. But the man that I know does not deserve my ire, very nice blocking by this Byakuya, but yeah, he does have to deal... Gotta get that super nice jump, but unfortunately still stayed safe. I wonder if how would could Gordo? I just I feel like most of the cast should surely have some method of punishing that. I would hope, but I don't know because there are a lot of things in this game where if you see them, you're kind of like I should be able to punish that. And then see like that, he just tried. He just tried, but he got caught by the web. So there are some. Th Many things, actually, I would argue in this game that look like they should be punishable, that just aren't. And it gets pretty frustrating. 
you speaking of getting the punish, but thankfully, Chain Shift was there to keep him safe, but he did not have Chain Shift a second time. If he gets the right hit confirmed, though, he can kill, because he has 200 meter. He just lost grid advantage, though. That sucks. That was some very clutch shield blocking right there by Biakia. Fortunately for Gordo, off of that Chain Shift, Biakia did not have meter to respond to that 2-2-A. No anti-air attempt at all. Eesh. It's tough when you see Biakia just flying at you with an active hitbox, because Biakia has some crazy hitboxes. But man, that was prime 2C material right there. I feel like he's just not leaving enough of a gap in there for uh, Biaki to potentially hang himself. Right? Where like Biaki is sitting there expecting you to cancel him to 236C. So you might be able to be greedy and get away with not canceling it. But of course, on the flip side of that, if you get greedy and you get punished for it, you just gave Biaki momentum. And why did they give him that move? Like, this is just. Let me, I need to see this. So, like, are you supposed to, so you, blah, 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 here, 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 teleport down. Are you, there's not even a shine, actually. So, are you supposed to just, because he's here, right? So, are you just supposed to fuzzy block? We're like, okay, here, you're still blocking high, you're still blocking high, you're still blocking high. Because you're not reacting to that, right? Fuck, I forgot that this doesn't go back frame by frame. Let's just count, I mean, I assume that this is frame by frame, right? So, he's here, he's here. I assume that if you are supposed to react to this, you need to react to Biakia disappearing. So here he goes, he's disappeared. One frame, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen frames? No, that's not fucking reactable. So were you just supposed to train yourself to fuzzy block there? Where he but that's impossible. Is there is there some other kind of tell to this move? Like, some specific way that he's flying through the air here, which I am almost positive there isn't, because that... Are you supposed to react to that, maybe? Like, okay. That, where he's shining right there. He's clearly charging. Does that mean that he's going to teleport every single time? So is that it? You just need to know the matchup enough, maybe? I, I don't know the character enough. But suffice to say, they also gave a similar move to Lene. Uh... It, that just, both of those pissed me off to no end. Because like I said, you're not reacting to them actually going into the low. There's not enough time. So there has to be, there either has to be a tell earlier on that I am missing, such as the one that I thought maybe, again, like that kind of charge animation is what you're supposed to be reacting to. I don't know. Nice snipe out of the air. I don't like that full screen dash, but he got paid for it right there. He gets a little bit of extra damage with the 236C. Does he? Oh, yeah, he's actually getting a pretty decent amount of damage. Unfortunately, he dropped the combo. Thankfully, 2C recovers fast enough that he didn't get punished for it, but he's kind of, he kind of needed that Oki. He really needed that Oki, and he just gets caught by the 2-2 whatever. I don't know if it's A or B. All that I know is that's another move that Biakia did not need, but French Bread gave it to him anyway. And it's probably the most common move I see now from Biakia. Just 2-2-X in general. 2-2-C is phenomenal. Like, you, you're almost never going to be able to jump away from that move. It is just... Like I said, I do not know if there is a character out there that has somehow been catapulted forward to a level where they deserve my ire. Or he might actually be one of them. But Biakia still feels like Biakia. Like, he's still running the show. Don't know 100%. Like I said, there just hasn't really been enough high-level tournament play to know 100% one way or the other exactly where the top tiers are going to fall. But uh, Biakia feels like a fairly confident bet. I'm just kind of sad. I haven't seen Kyo style. Which, to be fair, he might just be doing it while I am sleeping. But I caught him streaming once. Like, two months ago. And I haven't seen him since. <laughs> and I was really hoping to, because Killstyle, as top of playing Gordo, he also plays a decent amount of Enkidu. I was looking forward to being able to catch his stream every once in a while, but I just, like I said, I haven't seen him stream at all ever since I followed him. It's my fault. My bad. He saw me following and was like, ah, oh, shit, I can't have this dude stealing my tech. Can't have this scrub acting like he's learning from me. That'll reflect poorly on me. I'm just going to keep it to myself. That sucks. 
That's a terrible way to die. I think, didn't he get, I wonder if he meant something else, because it looked like he started to go into, or maybe he was mashing. Because he tried to do Grim Reaper, and it almost looked like he canceled into. Oh no, because like the, he spends the scythe and the animation that he does to the Grim Reaper follow-up for his uh, 6 AB, staple speed, whatever the new move mechanic is. Six B from Ori? I should know these things, because that's 6C, right? The little hop kick that she got. Like, I should know this, given that I've spent... I've spent enough time playing Ori that I should know what her moves are. And I'm almost positive that I was correct there, but... Actually, no, the hop kick is 3C, no? They're all safe, but... Doesn't matter if you're keeping it all, plus, even if... Damn, Ori has a lot of grit. Oh, but she got caught! She's not going to die. Because Gordo doesn't have a damage bonus, and he also is not going to make it to 200 meter. Nice chain shift. Good respect from Kyo style right there, keeping it all safe. Could have gotten whiff punished for that, but fortunately, she was respectful enough of the tool to believe that it could have hit from there. But speaking of getting hit and not being properly respectful, you got to respect this woman's persona more. She's gonna get caught. Alexa played Despacito. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, that sucks. I even think, I wonder, did they ever touch? I'm almost positive I remember they nerfed Grim Reaper's vertical hitbox. I can't remember if they ever touched, like, how far it can hit behind him. Either way, that just sucks. They just flew through each other, and unfortunately, Ori... Just kind of by pure luck, honestly. Yo, look at it from this particular screen. Doesn't that, uh, this kind of reminds you of, like, not necessarily, like, kind of Angelmon a little bit? Or Angelwomon? Which one, ha which one, don't they both? But which one has the more similar mask to that? It's been so long since I've thought about Digimon. But it is kind of reminiscent of that, no? And there's a lot of Kaguya up here right now. Go with the Wait, that's a poppin' quest? Playing Sarugi? What? I don't know if I ever remember seeing this man play anything but Chaos. Uh-oh. Is that bad news for Chaos Bros? Is Sarugi just the character that everybody gravitates to when they realize their character isn't really that good? Because I have seen a bunch of people that I know were in Kidu players now playing Sarugi. That's a really terrible start. Because I have to imagine. I mean, you're kind of you're gonna be gambling inevitably with this character. But I feel like when she's doing those kind of float shenanigans, isn't she kind of just putting her life into Sarugi's hands right there? Because it feels like he should. I, mean, I guess she could teleport reactively, maybe. I'm not sure, but it feels like he should just be able to armor through all of the sword moves that she's throwing pretty freely. But again, I don't know how easily she would be able to respond with a teleport to get away from it. Drop the combo. That is unfortunate. Got his ankles clipped. Damn, gets smashed into the ground. Also has a lot of grid to work with. Any single hit. Any bad offense right here. I was kind of thinking that might have been the bad offense. I can't believe he stayed patient throughout that entire thing without spending chain shift at all, only to throw away a 100 meter like that. Speaking of throwing away meter, fortunately, he was airborne, so his tech did not allow him to punish the whiffed infinite worth EXS, and he actually winds up still losing. That's got to be tilting. Seeing somebody screw up that hard, throw away 200 meter, throw away a move, that has probably the most recovery overall in the game and still not be able to punish it and then lose the round anyway. This can't feel good. But I am definitely surprised that he's not trying. He's kind of just not really using the armor at all. Which, in my mind, makes me question why you're even playing Sarugi in the first place. Because that's definitely one of his strongest tools in his arsenal is making people scared like i gotta be a little bit wary that this armor could come out at any given point in time 
and crush what I'm trying to do. But he's just not using. Okay, nice DP. Should get a full confirm off of this. I think he'll have to spend meter, or he could just drop the combo. Get hit by whatever that move was. But user Reha is going to need at least two more hits to get this kill. Maybe even three, depending on what the starters are. What the hell? It's been some weird meter usage so far throughout this match, but just gets DP'd again. She remembered the last time she, th uh, Sarugi threw tech. <laughs> he dashed up to try to get the throw, so that's clearly what she was thinking might happen again. Tried to throw out a normal, unfortunately. Just ate a reversal. So Poppin Quest at least has the read on that particular, but again, I do not, I kind of, I mean, like I said, I don't know this matchup. I, do, I have not played this matchup. So I don't know how, how easy it is for Yuzuriha to potentially teleport away in a reactionary manner if she sees Sarugi's armor come out. But just the fact that he's not representing the threat of it at all either means Poppin' Quest is screwing up or he already knows that it just does not work. Which is one of the flaws of this type of replay system where you, you're not able to see the entire set. Oh, is he going to bring this back? Imagine if he runs this back. Oh, goodness me. That's a start. Okay. Nice. She shouldn't have just let it hang there. Okay, we got the tech. Ooh, got the back dash. This dude has the reads after the throw techs, and he also has the reads on the veil loss. I think that's the third one he's blocked so far. Either way, she is beyond dead. Boy, did Yuzuriha really screw the pooch on that one. Threw that away into the gutter. Should have caught it. Honestly, just should have won that free. But just made mistake after mistake. And Pop and Quest capitalized on every single one of them. I will actually... Should I? I'll see if there's another Kuan at some point in here. If there's not, I'll watch that one. But given there's already been two Gordos... Oh, there's also already been a Mika. But I, I just saw him. I got blinded by Merkava. I love my boy Merkava. Where's Crow at? I did I have seen a replay from him. I think I recorded one of them. Ooh, nice patience. Unfortunately, I feel like that's punishable. But I am not. Like I said, it's just feelings. I do not know for certain. On a merry-go-round, getting some Oki from it. I like it. Acting like we're raving up in this bitch. Nice dash under, unfortunately. Dash too far. Might have been able to punish that, to be honest. Since I think Merkava was faced the other way. There wasn't really anything he could have done while falling. I do think Mika definitely screwed that up. Left an opportunity on the table that she might wind up regretting. Nice knockdown. Fortunately, she was airborne. Merkava wasn't ready for it. Got the grid break and the kill this Mika. Definitely needs to work on her defense. She is not respecting the gigantic normals that Merkava brings to the table. How much screen he's able to cover. That's a really strong tool. Dive kicks in like almost every single time if you see a character that has a dive kick like that, it's strong. It's so rare that somebody has a dive kick that isn't one of the best tools at their disposal. That was sick! Faked him out with the whiffed high. Hit him low before they were ready for it. Hit him high, hit him low. Shout out to the Monstars. Whiffed the throw. I can't believe that whiffed. Is that some Merkava oddness? Got distracted by the flowing hair. Thought she was closer than she was. Wasn't sure which little the wacky flailing arm stuff, whatnot. Actually, kind of they, they both kind of have wacky flailing arms. But Mika's spinning to win, and obviously, as we all know, spin to win always wins. In every single game. Oh, she is not ready for that overhead, though. I don't know why you just stood there after the chain shift and allowed her to just jab you in the face. Fortunately, yeah, this Mika looking either rusty or just... Kind of looks like she might have been playing another character for a while. Like that kind of like they've been playing some, either another game or another character, and they've just recently returned, so they're just kind of dropping a bunch of things they otherwise wouldn't. But they are gonna be able to take this round. Like I said, that spin cycle is not to be underestimated. Merkava just keeps getting smacked out of the air by it. 
And a match that looked like it was firmly in his control might slowly be slipping away. Also, my head hurts. Because I know you all care. Ooh, no bait! I shouldn't say no bait. Did not fall for the bait. Yeah, you can kind of see Merkava's decently scared of Mika spinning after things that are clearly minus. He's playing far more patiently, but it is working out for him. Yeah, he's playing really cautiously now. Which, obviously, it's working very well for him. Unfortunately, every single time he's been put on the defensive, it goes really poorly, really quickly. We about to see yet another damn near zero health comeback. First it was Pop and Quest. Now it might be Sutaniko. Sutaniko? Merkava's blocking it out. Had chain shift, but unfortunately didn't have an invulnerable reversal to bear off of it, so he couldn't respond to that very clearly active hitbox that Mika had thrown out. And she got the cross up. Not going to be able to kill. She is going to get chain shift at the very end of this. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, she saves it. Makes sense. Saves it right there. We'll be able to get a kill off of this. A very easy one that is... That was nerfed to, I believe, be always throw punishable. No matter what, if you want to get a better punish than a throw, then you have to shield block at the end to give yourself that little bit more advantage. But if what I... I almost positive, I do recall hearing that that is always throw punishable at bare minimum. Another CL but unfortunately it is... Man, it's all repeat characters. It's all repeat characters. Oh, I remember this one. That's the one that I started out the last one. Well, I didn't start it out, but it was there. And I made fun of the person's name. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oops. I hate that Undernight had to make itself unique. It's the only replay system that I have used that requires you to press the triangle button to initiate. Am I blind? Why did I think... I need to look at this after this is over. That's why. It's the color palette. I did not know she had an Anase reference color palette. I thought this was an Anase. <laughs> Clearly it's not. But I genuinely thought that this was the Anase versus Vald when I saw it. If I had known it was Phonon, I would not have watched. I hate this character. Why does she exist? I mean, I genuinely, I don't know what Enkidu's worst matchup in this game actually is, but I will say personally, I never feel more lost and hopeless than I do playing this matchup. So again, I don't know if, because obviously everybody has their own personal blind spots, right? Where like I've mentioned before in Blaze Blue specifically, Ragna's one of my hardest matchups. Ragna, I don't think is a very... Like, it's definitely not a good matchup for Taker. It doesn't have an advantage or anything. But I don't think it's particularly bad either. But for some reason, for me specifically, it is horrible. I feel lost. So it might be the same thing here. I mean, I think it's pretty definitive that this is a terrible matchup for Enkidu, no matter which way you slice it. But it feels, to me at least, like my worst matchup. Like, I just don't know what to do or what my options are against this character. And unfortunately, the Vald is looking similarly lost. Okay, there we go. We got the hit. Dash up 2C. Full hit confirmed. Gets the hard knockdown. What are we doing afterwards? We're getting the overhead that's getting blocked. This dash up 2C is paying off big. Smack her back down straight again. Tried it again. Didn't work that time. Gets thrown into the corner. This is a terrible spot for Vald. He can definitely... Fortunately, that is plus frames. Got caught low, but did not hit confirm it properly. Probably could have gotten a kill if he had. Gets the full screen. What is that? Is that 6C? No, that's a special move, isn't it? Either way, massive hitbox. That's the main benefit that Vald will definitely have over Enkidu. Enkidu, don't got, Enkidu needs to steal these arms from Vald. Like, at the very least, just pull them out of his pocket for one move. Just so I have one full screen normal to bring to bear. Just give me that one. Or maybe he just, like, takes Enkidu's claw out of his pocket and throws it. Give me something. <laughs> I just want something, man. What if a fully charged 6BC throws a projectile? Ooh. 
This is a terrible idea. Because for those of you that have been here for a while, you may recall watching Phone On, for some reason, what her whip effects, her light effects, whether it's the screen shake, I've never really nailed down exactly what the problem is. She'd be dead here. Bonk! Vault actually took it. Like, right when I said, man, Vault looking just as lost as me, he decided to turn it on. He was like, ah, I was just kidding the whole time. I know exactly what to do. And he just nonstop won from there. Well done. Um, but I already have a bit of a headache. Like the like I said, with the Wisdom Tooth thing, it's kind of just radiating outward, and so part of that is it just gives me a fairly persistent headache on top of it. And that did... Watching Phonon did not help matters. <gasps> it's an Enkidu! Unfortunately, talking about bad matchups earlier, I know definitively from seeing discussions with other Enkidus who are far better than me, uh... Believe this to not just be a bad matchup, to be a borderline unwinnable matchup, to be a, one of those matchups that is so bad it might be better to just have a secondary character in your pocket for it than it is to try to actually play it out. Unless, of course, the Ori just decides to let Enkidu dash up full screen and throw her, in which case you're probably gonna have a decent time because that should never happen. That's that's what should happen. That's exactly what should happen. Every single time he dashes up, he should just get checked. He should never be allowed to carry that much forward momentum that easily. Damn, I wonder if she kind of got screwed over by the cross-up right there. That it had, like, saved her inputs for a little bit, where maybe she just wanted a 5A rather than a 2-3-6A. Okay, nice throw tech there. Kind of surprised she was able to recover in time, but I think... No, surely not. Okay, no kill. He's just gonna get the knockdown. That didn't even combo. Could have gotten punished for it. Could have gotten the kill there. Ori, what are you doing? Ori, what are you doing? Can't complain as an Enkidu fan. But when I'm here to see a character, I want to see them win. Because they're just playing that much better. I don't want to see them win. Well, I mean, they are playing better, obviously. But I want to see them outplaying their opponent. I don't want to see them just constantly capitalizing off the stupid mistakes. Oh, she still gets the knockdown after that. I think that's the first time I've seen a follow a continued follow-up after that super. Usually when the knight comes flying back down, that is the end of the combo. Got caught low, no hit confirmed though, luckily enough for Enkidu. Probably should have gotten whiff punished there, but fortunately this Ori is kind of shown that she is a bit lacking in the neutral department. Was a weird way to get the final hit, but we take it. If it works, it works. Man, what are you scared? There you go. Those whip punishes, girl, and don't get whip punished yourself, girl. Your buttons are too good to allow yourself to be whip punished by this character. You also got to stop, lady. He's get, he's waking up with buttons decently often. Which you really just shouldn't be allowing in this game in general. No punish at all? Girl! What is he doing? See, he's, he's, he's waking up with 5A. And I feel like that's the fourth or the fifth time he's done that. So, like, she should be very well aware of that and should be punishing him for it. Yeah, he never wakes up just being respectful. And... I know I say it pretty much consistently whenever you're dealing with a character. He gets the win here. As long as he finishes this combo, this is it. 6 2 3 C, I hope good. It's not a terribly bad matchup when the person plays the matchup horribly. <laughs> but. One of the marks of playing a low tier character, one of the things that you have to get accustomed to if you want to play a character that's on the weaker side is that you have to play disrespectfully fairly often. You can't just try to consistently outplay people once you hit a certain level because everybody, like everybody at this level is at least good. You're not just going to be able to, oh yeah, why did I ever think that was Nanase? I just saw the hair color and was like, but like obviously look at the difference. They're not even remotely similar. <laughs> Um, but eventually once you hit a certain level, you can't just rely on solid fundamentals to outplay your opponents. And so that is where, like, I've always hated hearing people say tier lists don't matter to the vast majority of the player base. They do. They absolutely do. 
just not as much. It's not quite as impactful. Uh, but either way, like once you get to a certain point, just being, just playing solidly isn't enough anymore in bad matchups. You have to actively take risks. But that Enkidu was just never getting punished. The Ori, I don't know why she was so scared of Enkidu, but she was, and she let him get away with murder. I was going to say, if that all lands from how far away she is, I'm going to pick up Nanase right now, because that's ridiculous. I should be playing Nanase. I, sh I should be playing anybody else. I say this every single replay theater. I should be playing anybody else. Oh, that whiff, but he recovered instantly. I feel like I'm watching Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, where recovery is a myth. There's no such thing as recovery frames in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, or apparently for... I almost said Yako Vermillion for Laundrekia. Yako Vermillion and Laundrekia are just synonymous in my mind. Nice little cross under. Gets the corner. What kind of mix-up are we going to see? We're not going to see a mix-up. She's going to throw the meter away. Still should be able to get a strong meaty here. But unfortunately, that's super. I don't know why they gave him that. There are a lot of a lot of the new tools. It's kind of... It actually... Oh! Just new. Like, hey, man. My only hope here is that she drops this combo somehow, so I am just going to mash out Reversal the entire time, and it actually paid off. That is really unfortunate for Nanase, because what should have been a round win just got flipped on its head. But I genuinely feel like pretty much all the new moves that I see, such as that one, I've responded to pretty much every single one of them with, like, why would you give them that? But it's always for a different reason. I shouldn't say it's always for a different reason. It's for, you know, basically, why would you give him that in the sense of, like, why do you think that actually helps this character? Because it really doesn't. Versus, why would you give him that? That's too good. And he didn't need it. <laughs> that Hailstorm is kind of a ridiculous super. Don't screw... Okay, I was about to say, like, don't screw this up. I have seen too many times. I have also done it myself too many times. Where you're like, I want to... Obviously, it's a very important component to this game to make sure that you're maximizing your meter. So you, if you have Chain Shift at the end and you know you're getting the combo finish... Ooh, that was a sick pickup! Man, I need to pick up. I need to play Nanase. I need to play Nanase. I need to play Nanase. I used to play Nanase. I played her when she was bad. What is wrong with me? I played her when she was at her worst and now I don't deserve her when she's at her best? What is wrong with me? That's unfortunate. There's going to be a lot of damage. Never mind, not as much. I don't know if he had to cut it short or if he just decided to for the sake of better Oki. Damn, yeah, she is not ready for those charge or Rekka overheads. Still shouldn't be able to kill here. Yep. Did have time to set up some Oki. Okay, you gotta deal with the spin. Dealt with the spin very well. No ants here. Unfortunately, I think the threat of the hailstorm prevented Nanase from acting right there. Otherwise, that kind of should have been a fairly free ants here. But yeah, that just gives Lontrekia an option that makes you have to be cautious nice hit confirm she should be able to get enough meter here with chain shift but she won't oh that's right i'm dumb i'm dumb i forgot about the cross cast veil off allowing her to get a far better ender than 100 meter would normally allow her and what an ender it was this sh okay i was about to say like surely this does kill but hitting that cross cast veil off does scale those enders quite a bit so I wasn't completely positive it was going to kill. I would have been very offended if it didn't. Yeah, like I said, dude, Nanase looks fantastic. Kaguya mirror match. There are so many Kaguyas. Oh, did we? Have we seen this? I think we did. Did we? I'm not gonna look. Uh. Oh, come on. Perfect. Kwan and Alene. Oh, and this is Kanan. Cool. I do remember talking about because I still I don't know for sure that this is the former Subaki god from Blaze Blue. But I do remember talking about them before, and I know they have a good Lene. And then I also get my Kwan match. So I get to have my cake and eat it too. Booyah! It's, cool. it's it's always fun to see names that you recognize and you know is high quality. In fact, oh, I need to look. Maybe I don't, actually. I remember I was thinking about doing this a couple days ago, but then I realized. See, like, right now, 
Oh, it's been 35. Dude, how has it been 35 minutes? It doesn't feel like it. It feels it feels like it's been 10. I love this game so much. Why aren't more people playing it? God damn it. Um, but I feel my jaw. It's protesting me doing this nice block of the double overhead. And so I sat down to do one of these a couple days ago, and I realized very quickly, like, this is a terrible idea. You're not in good enough shape to do this. Don't try. You're going to have a bad time. But I did see Flareon on the list. Unfortunately, what I do remember as well is that they were fighting against, like, a C3 player or something like that. But still, it's Flareon. Flareon is my boy. I, like I said, I just love seeing names that I recognize and that I know are really strong. Coming back. Still grinding it out, still being godlike. So it's the same thing here, even though I'm not a particularly big fan of Lene. I'm a big fan of great players, and Kanan is undeniably a great fighting game player. He's currently getting washed. Those projectiles are hard to deal with, man. Like, they just cover approaches. They cover approaches so well, you have to be so cautious. Now, can Kanan take this? Has to be very scared. Kwan has a reversal. Has meter. I don't, I, I don't think he can cancel his reversal, though, right? Some characters do have the privilege of being able to do that. Baited it out for free. I was waiting for that this entire time, you dummy. I knew you were going to do it when your back was finally feeling the ropes. You felt them. You knew you were dead soon. And you hastened your death by making such a foolish mistake. We shall both perish here, dear brother. Oh, I forgot reading that. Reminded. It's been so long. John, I'm sorry. I just remembered that you did mention, and I had forgotten. Ooh, another Enkidu. I'm going to watch this one. Oh, this is terrible. First against Ori. Now against uh, Gordo. Both just not particularly fun matchups. I need to find a better spot. I mean, maybe I just toss it in the middle. I think it's too big. Currently to throw it in the middle like this. But if I like yoink, make it a little bit smaller. Like I'm basically more or less underfoot. Like am I really blocking? Yeah, I would be blocking something. Right there. Perfect. Right there. I'm Gordo. Look at me. I'm Gordo. I'm Gordo. Ra! I'm coming for you. I got you, bitch. All right, sorry. I'm done. This is turning me weird. Maybe I just throw myself like right here. This is unobtrusive, right? Oh my god, stop. Why are you walking like that? That's so weird. Is there another, like, thing here? Oh, yeah, there is. It's trying to lock. And it's prevent... Like, I want to have this right underneath. Come on, you bitch. I'm not even paying attention to the match. It's okay. I see Enkidu's life bar as I'm trying to do this. Stop! They're just like, so it's show you exactly what... I have this text here. It's obviously for the stream. And it's locking with that, and I want it, like, just... Okay, that's actually fine. That's fine right there. That's fine right there. Should I make it? I don't need to be bigger. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about my bald ass over here. I don't know why I had to say bald. Well, I know why I had to say bald, but I didn't even say ass as well. I can't believe that whip. Did Kidu just put his life on the line right there, charging up? Unfortunately, he also put his life on the line with that incredibly poorly spaced dash C. And now he's really on the back foot. Also, delay text, which allows Gordo to chase him all the way to the corner. But he said, thank you for putting yourself in the corner. Now I finally have advantage up until... Up until I make a mistake, throwing out a very long, lengthy charged move. While well, you have chain shift. This is definitely, I would say, A rank. Even maybe the beginning of S rank is still at that level where you're not quite aware enough permanently... He could have beaten that. Gordo absolutely could have beaten that, but he just did not react in time to the fact that Enkidu was dash seen. But unfortunately, this Enkidu's offense, he just keeps dropping stuff, keeps making mistakes. He should be getting... Does he lose the kill here? Oh, well, definitely if it whiffs. I was gonna, like, all he needed to do, all he needed to do was infinite worth. He didn't, he tried to get fancy, and he, again, completely screwed the pooch right there. I'm almost positive just a basic infinite worth at the end of that combo would have killed. Did not need to get... He got so greedy. And now I'm kind of hoping he loses this entire set for it. Because that was a massive mistake for no good reason. Because I was already skeptical when I saw him do the cross-cast veil off. Because as I said before, that scales your finishers. 
uh, more than if you just do them raw. Obviously, there are just some circumstances where you can't do them raw, whether you don't have enough meter yet or whatever the case may be. Oh, he's getting caught right. Oh, that traded. That's bad for Enkidu. He finally got paid with the dash C. This Enkidu thinks he's playing the beginning of Unist, and the dash C is actually a genuinely strong move, but unfortunately, this Gordo. This Gordo did not check him ever, so hey, man, if you're not getting checked for it, just keep on throwing it out. If they're going to respect a move that doesn't deserve respect, keep on using it. No reason not to. I kind of want to see. Let me just see who else is here. I'll do this. I'll watch this one. Oh, wait, no, but I did want to see, like I mentioned before, but I don't think... I don't think he's here anymore. Oh, there it is. Oh, it gets a B2. Should I watch it? It's Flareon. Flareon's only A plus four. He's clearly not playing that much. What's his win? 84% win rate, though. Oh, he's S plus two now. Oh, so this... How old is this? Weird. This is super old. Nah, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna watch it. I can't tease it, then not watch it, but yeah, this is mad old. This is actually... To the day, exactly a month old now. No, my water is behind me all the way over on my little table. Oh, they match. That's adorable. It's like they're out on a date. Hyde's harem's gonna be pissed about that. Isn't this the same? Use Riha as well that we watched earlier? I'm almost positive that's the same name. So both these players been ranking up like crazy. But uh this Use Riha was not ready. This is really this Use Riha was not ready. <laughs> They're not ready at all. It's not even fair. I can't believe they gave him. I can't believe they gave him the laser beam in Uniclear, and then they gave him. They give him that giant X, whatever that projectile is in this version of the game. Again, my permanent response to pretty much every single new move I see in this game is, why did they give them that? I didn't need it. Oh, did that combo? It must have. Is she dead? Hang on. Nerf hide for the love of my sanity.